course. We work on digitalization, new product development, financial inclusion, and internal efficiencies. And all of that will be successful only if you include your internal customer in this discussion. So we develop a couple of best practices, how best we can include our employees so they can follow us and they can actually be the uh, advocates for all of our initiatives. First of all, never assume they know. They most probably don't because with the 15% of patients and staff on an annual basis, you have a lot of new staff, but also your senior employees with the huge institutional knowledge being there for 20 years, most probably they will be a bit biased to your new initiatives because they love their routine and they love what they do. So we want to make sure that everybody understands why. The next point might seem a bit odd, but let's make sure that we include IT department in mm -hmm. these discussions as well. I know that we tend to be in business a bit biased because IT speaks a different language, but for us, really, it, it makes a huge difference. We started to um, involve our software developers to train our salespeople, and from salespeople, we really transition them to financial advisors. Make sure you align your performance management with your strategic initiatives. What we found that we're very excited that we developed a strategic plan and we have all of these fantastic initiatives in the roadmap. And we thought everybody is like following our uh, guidance and at the end of the year when we did the appraisals, we had all updated appraisal forms. So it was absolutely zero linkage between our strategic uh, initiatives and our appraisal system. So next point, also a bit odd, especially after COVID, but let's make sure we meet in person as well. Imagine that instead of being together, networking, we would have this conference virtual. I'm sure that you share this experience that you see webinars and you love the topic and you sign up and then you have emergency incidents or people meet you, so you don't go. However, you are still happy because you will get the recording and you will never watch this recording, right? And the same happens with our employees, right? When they join virtually, uh, cameras are off, suddenly the microphones are not working, they feel intimidated because they need to speak in front of 500 people, so they are being afraid of asking questions, but when they meet together, um, they can share knowledge, they can ask questions, and they can actually become significantly more motivated. Create cross-departmental teams. It's never one and show. Whatever you will come up with, you need to make sure that your teams will advocate for it and they will become experts. They will be better than you in the initiative that, that you want to drive and you want to bring to the organization. So once all of that is done, we can deep dive into digitalization and what that means. Cards management, I put it on purpose because I think nowadays, the boundaries between issuing and acquiring are very much blurry. We should not just think in silences that we either issue cards or do acquiring or maybe we are good, we do both, but how we can create unique value proposition for our customers. Insights to drive success, I will not speak about big data, I think everybody understands that it's important. However, um, you need to make sure that either you yourself or the team that you have behind you will understand how to connect dots. This, these, all, all of these touch points are so important because if you are not properly correlating data, you actually can make a wrong decision just because you didn't check all of the layers. Um, digital wallet, uh, this is extremely exciting. We launched digital wallet two years ago. Uh, first digital wallet in the country whereby regulations were not in the country at all. And we wanted to focus on this 35% of income population. So we started 
uh, with a question, why they do not open a bank account? And the answer to it is that they don't have an ID, they don't have a proof of address, they do not want to travel <laughs> from rural areas of the, of the country to the nearest branch. So they, by choice, they just do not open a bank account. So we sat down and we developed a simplified onboarding scheme. We went to our regulator, they approved, and we were able to launch our digital wallet with simplified onboarding. Our customers can enroll within 30 seconds, not having any documentation, and they can start to transact. Last but not least, open banking, which also is changing the dynamic of your organization. Instead of really having a ton of customers asking to integrate with, uh, with your platform to be able to reconcile and, and, and settle quickly, we developed APIs for e-commerce, for digital wallet, for bill payments. We pass it on to our customers and they can work on it on their time, on their pace, and quickly see the results. I don't need to hire an entire separate IT mean, department to facilitate customizations for our customers, so it's working very well for us. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I will, I will be around and I will be more than happy to share more. So, um, new product level, right? Um, I think we all try to bring new things but it's important that you will pick the important ones for you so you can fit it into your strategic planning, right? Um, not necessarily everything that is trendy right now will fit into your plan. So don't be just blindly following everybody. Just make sure that you will shape the behavior of your customer base through the product you are developing. That's extremely important because you don't want to spend money or some, on something that will be just laying out there and then after three years, four years, you will decide just to shut it down. That makes no sense. So we need to really spend this sufficient time at the beginning to think about it. Internal efficiencies, that speaks back to internal customer. We saw that even though we were facilitating all of these sessions and meetings with our branch managers and staff, it was not enough. So we decided to actually go to our branches. On a quarterly basis, we, uh, entire operations team, go to all of our 11 branches for three days, not only just for a couple of hours, we go for three days, and we observe everything. From the terror line, customer support, we go to ATM rooms and see how they look like. We basically assess everything. Afterwards, we have an action list with the stakeholders and deadlines, and the next time we come, we do the same thing. We evaluate, see what's working, what's not working. If it was not done, we have a separate discussion about it. Financial inclusion. This is an extremely complex topic. Definitely will not happen overnight, but you need to use absolutely all of the possible channels you can to do that. I encourage you to scan this QR code. If you have uh, 45 minutes to spare, you can go through the financial literacy course we have developed as the part of anticipation campaign for our digital wallet. Uh, we collaborated with schools as our wallet is open for 14 plus. So we open up accounts for 18 years old and the wallet is open for 14 plus. As we want to make sure that we really target this young population. We do campaigns on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We do fun things with financial inclusion, doing challenges on TikTok for, for, for youngsters. Really, you need to open up, right? The fact that you're a financial institution doesn't mean you need to be boring. So um, you need to do your best to engage them.